office tomorrow. I know they're going to have some tree fours parties going on tonight. But we're going to have worship service at five. Amen. Up in hell. And if you really want to celebrate your independence, come back and tell God how thankful you are Talk that he signed the spiritual emancipation proclamation and loosed you from the grips of sin. Yes, right. We're have service here tonight. And because the Holy Ghost dwells uh -huh. in this church, yes, he says, and you are not your own. Yes. Amen. Now that you're God's child, you don't belong to yourself no more. Yes, sir. In verse 20, you have been bought with a price. With a price. Yes, sir. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Yeah. Notice the price. First Peter chapter 1. You want to and again in the verse number 18, let me show you how precious of a price it was that was paid for you. In 1 Peter chapter 1, uh -huh. and beginning of verse number 18, Peter informs us here, For as much as you know, you would not redeem with corruptible things, Talk so. such as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by the tradition of your fathers. In other words, we were bought mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. That's what the word redeem yes. means. Exactly. Right. You've been bought mm -hmm. back. We were once sold as slaves unto sin. Mm -hmm. We did things because yeah. sin was our master. Yes, we acted in certain ways because yes. sin yes. was my ruler. Yes. Sin had the absolute authority over my life until God bought me back. Yes. And the price that was paid for me yes. was not something that could be summed up physically because you can't pay a physical price for a spiritual problem. Amen. And the problem that we were dealing with being sold to sin was not just of the physical, it was of the spiritual. And so therefore the Bible says that the only price that could satisfy divine justice was the blood of God himself. That's what the Bible teaches us here when it says we were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver or gold. But verse 19, with the precious blood of Christ yeah. as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Mm -hmm. So my friends, your status has changed. Mm -hmm. Your value has changed. Mm -hmm. And then your, your name changed. All right. <laughs> Boy, yes, whenever you look at a study of the Bible, yes, sir. you always notice that a change of name uh -huh. denotes a change in position. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Abram became Abraham. Mm -hmm. From exalted father to father of a multitude. Yeah. Jacob became mm -hmm. Israel. Yes. From a circlanter to a prince of God. Mm -hmm. Whenever God changes your name, he's also changing your position. Yes. And so the Bible shows us no different. In Acts chapter 11 and verse number 26, the Bible informs us in the latter part of that verse that those disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. In Antioch. Yes, sir. Their name changed. Mm -hmm. They were recognized as being followers of Jesus Christ. Yes. This, my brothers and my sisters, puts you in a very special category. You're no longer named among those who are unrighteous. Right. But now you're named among those who have been justified by God. Mm -hmm. Look with me at 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and beginning at verse number 9. And let me show you, you have been named among those who have been justified by God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and beginning at verse number 9. Notice here what the Bible says. It's going to show us who we used to be and show us who we are now. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't you know that by now? Unrighteous folk ain't going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Haven't you realized that? 
in your study of God's word that the unrighteous people will not enter into the kingdom of God? He says, be not deceived. Reason why Paul is telling the children of God, don't be deceived because we've got preachers and teachers out here that are telling folk that they can be unrighteous and still be right with God. That's a contradiction of terms. To be righteous in essence is to be right with God. Talk with and so Paul says, don't be deceived. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Uh, neither fornicators. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Idolatrous. Talk to her. Y'all in here? Yeah. Yes, sir. Adulterous. Nor infeminate. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Talk with her. Nor thieves. Uh -huh. Nor covetous, nor drunkards. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Say it, say it. I know mm -hmm. there's going to be some drinking going on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd tell you before you put it to your lips. Talk so. Paul has already said uh -huh. that drunkards, nor revilers, mm -hmm. nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Y'all see this? Yes. But then Paul says, and such Worst were time. some of you. All of us you used to be yes. one of them things. Yeah. Amen up in heaven. Yeah. Hey, you know this sister, you looking at me cockeyed, and I ain't gonna look at you cockeyed. Cause all of us at one time or another used to be some of those things. Some of us was more than one of them things. Amen, yes, Amen up in heaven. But Paul says, but ye are washed, Talk to you. ye are sanctified, yes, sir. ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Yes, sir. Your name has changed, yes, sir. which denotes that your position has changed. Right. And in Ephesians chapter 5, mm -hmm. beginning at verse number 1, Paul shows that once more, and again to the children of God in Ephesus. Ephesians chapter 5, beginning at verse number 1. Talk he you. says, Be ye therefore followers of God as, as dear you. children. Y'all yes, hear that? Yes, right. We are not to follow the world, but we are to follow God as his children. Yes, we are also to walk in love as Christ also hath love. loved us yes, and yes. hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling sacred. Yes, he said, but fornication well. looked like the children of God in the Bible obviously had a problem with fornication. Right. Paul tells the folk at Ephesus, quit fornicating. Yeah. He tells the folk at Corinth, quit fornicating. Yeah. He tells the folk in Colossae, quit fornicating. Yeah. And so it's not no surprise to me. Yeah. Don't bring that old lame excuse, I can't help it. You can help it because the Apostle Paul wrote to three different congregations on three different occasions and told them all the same thing. Quit it. Amen. 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 Yes. Stop doing what you're doing. Because yes, you can't help it. Yes, yes. Christ has offered himself mm -hmm. as a sweet smelling savor unto God. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you are to not allow fornication or uncleanness mm -hmm. or covetousness right. be once named among you as becometh saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather the giving of thanks. Mm -hmm. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, uh -huh. no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you yes, sir. with vain words. For because of these things, because of the things that Paul has just named, yes, sir. he said cometh the wrath of God on the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness. That's what you used to be. All right. yes. You used to be in darkness. Mm -hmm. But now 
Tell somebody, but not.